Okay, this is the P1 paper from June 2021. It's question number three. It's a question on trig ratios, and I think by the looks of things, there's going to be some quadratics a little bit later on. Let's have a look at it. So it says um, for the first part, figure one shows the plan view of a flower bed. Uh, it's a triangle ABC, and then everything that is given you over here is also written on the diagram. So let's just look at the diagram. It says show that P squared plus Q squared minus PQ is equal to eight. And what I'm looking at is, whoops, a triangle where I've got two sides and the angle in between them. That means I can work out that length there. So this strikes me as being a classic cosine rule question. So I'm gonna apply the cosine rule and then hope or assume that it'll break down to that. So let's have a go at actually doing that. Let's just tidy up my diagram. So for part A, we know that the cosine rule is A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. And in this case, we've got 2 root 2 squared is equal to P squared, Q squared, this is looking good already, minus 2 times P times Q times the cos of 60. So let's just tidy that up. 2 root 2 squared is 8. I'm going to have P squared plus Q squared. Cos 60 is a half, so those two are going to cancel. So I end up with minus PQ. Well, and that's it straight away. It's just dropped out there. The answer to part A um, showed that is just basically applying the cosine rule. It's only worth two, two marks there. Should have, should have seen that was going to be okay. It says, given that AC is two meters longer than AB. Okay, so if AC is two meters longer, this one is two meters longer than that. That's telling me that Q is P plus two. Okay, so given that, can we find the exact value of P and then the exact value of Q? Okay, yeah, let's have a go at doing that. So let's take that piece of information. And for part B, let's start off with that. Q is equal to P plus two. And I'm just gonna make that substitution in then. So that Q squared is gonna become P plus two squared and that Q there is gonna become P plus two. So if I just do that then, let's just do it down here. I'm gonna get eight is equal to, sorry, handwriting, eight is equal to P squared plus Q, let's say and do it at the same time, plus Q squared, which is P plus two squared, minus P Q, P, P plus two. Let's just tidy this all up then. So I'm gonna get eight equals P squared plus, I'm quite happy for you to do P plus two times P plus two and multiply it all out. I'm gonna do it a bit quicker than that. That's P squared plus four P plus four, and then multiplying out the second bracket is minus p squared and minus two p. And now let's get everything onto one side and get it equal to zero. Uh, p squared plus p squared minus p squared, that's p squared. Four p minus two p, that's plus two p. And we've got four, but the minus eight is coming over. So minus four equals naught there. Now they've given us a bit of a clue where they said give me the exact values for P and Q. So I don't think this one is going to factorize. I think I am going to have to use the formula for this. So P is equal to minus B, so minus 2, plus or minus the square root of B squared, which is 2 squared, minus 4AC, so minus 4 times 1, and then times minus 4 there. Good. I wanted that to work out to be a plus all over 2a, all over 2. I'm not going to do any more than that. You should be able to work this out from there. This works out to be um, plugging this all into. It does say to you at the start, um, solutions relying on calculator technology are not acceptable. So do not just put this straight in as an answer on the calculator. Take a little bit of time to do this. Okay, so this is minus 2 
plus or minus the square root of, this is 4 plus 16. So this is root 20 all over 2, which is then minus 2 plus or minus root 4 root 5 over 2. So I'm really taking my time to do this uh, little bit of the thirds work there, which gives me minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 2 which then works out to be minus 1 plus or minus root 5 here. Uh, does P have to be positive? Oh, of course it has. It's a length. So P has to be positive because it's a length. So P is actually then going to be equal to minus 1 plus root 5. So if you want to get all the marks for this question, then just take a little bit of time, take a little bit of extra time when you're doing it to make sure that you're going to get the marks for it. Okay, Q was equal to p plus 2, so it's minus 1 plus root 5 plus 2, so that works out to be 1 plus root 5. And then part c, what did part c ask us for? So calculate the exact area of the flower bed. Well, if I've got this, this, and this, in the same way as I can use it for the cosine rule, I can also use it for the area of the triangle half BC sine A. So let's just do that. Area of the triangle is going to be equal to a half BC sine A. So that's going to be equal to a half... Oh, okay, so it's 1 plus root 5, 1 minus... Uh, well, let's do it that way around. 1 plus root 5 minus 1 plus root 5 times sine 60. So just be careful in doing all this then. So it's a half. Let's multiply this bit out. I'm going to get that times that, that times that, this times this, and this times this. You just take your time to do it. I'm going to get minus 1 plus root 5 minus root 5 and then plus 5. Notice they will cancel. If you were quick, you might have not bothered to put those in and just had them cancelling out straight away. That's entirely up to you. Uh, and sine 60 is root 3 over 2. I'll just get rid of them now. Inside the bracket, I've got 4. 4 times a half is 2. Well, in fact, the easiest thing to do is say that 4 is going to cancel with those ones there. Now, you don't need to put any of the... Um, you don't need to cancel those out like that in terms of showing you're working out. It's just me explaining to you all. But we've got half, four, root three over two. Well, that's all going to cancel out to be root three meters squared as the final answer there. So I didn't make a big deal of it at the start, but making sure that you're able to do everything I've just done without using your calculator uh, is really important for this question. Otherwise, they're going to take marks off you. Okay, hopefully that one makes sense.